Hey Steve, so we got asked by one of our viewers the other day, he's just starting out with an 11U team for the first time ever. Kids are allowed to steal, and he said the hardest thing is when someone tries stealing third base and the catcher throws down, the third baseman is always in the wrong position. They're either getting to the bag late, or they're straddling it wrong, or can you show us some drills that will help teach them how to get to the bag properly, when to go to the bag, and kind of what it looks like. Yeah, definitely. Um, most times the third baseman is gonna get a delayed reaction, right? So we need our middle infielders to make sure that they let the third baseman know that the runner's stealing. Most times they'll yell out runner or stealing. And then the third baseman's job is to get to the base as early as possible. He can't turn and watch the runner and drift to the bag, otherwise he's gonna be late. He's gotta get there as fast as he can. So basically, once he gets to the base, we wanna straddle the bag, okay? The reason we straddle the bag and we don't start in front is because if Duke throws me the ball and I catch it out here, that's gonna take a long time for me to go back and make that tag. The ball is gonna travel faster than your glove will, okay? So we get to the bag as quick as we can, we straddle it, we take that throw, and then we wanna think down and up as quick as we can. We don't wanna be catching the ball out here and reaching, we definitely don't wanna be back here. So again, don't worry about the runner, get to the base as quick as you can, straddle, down and up, and show it to the umpire. It's an easy way to get to the bag early without having to reach, without being, del uh, I'm sorry, not delayed, late getting to the bag and getting the tag down quick. Keep the questions coming. We'll make sure we keep on shooting videos to help you guys dominate your defense.